Hey, a big event is underway at the Columbia Tower in downtown Seattle. Thousands of firefighters, more than two dozen states and several countries are down there right now for the Scott Firefighter Stair Climb. It's all to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We sent our photographer, Doug Dillon, out there. He is watching many of these firefighters, women, men, all of them, starting to go up. Now they're wearing 50 pounds of gear, right, Dougie? Oh yeah, it's some heavy gear. It's they're full suited up. They've got their oxygen tanks on. It is just a beast of a climb for these guys, but they are unbelievable. They've been training for a while. They get sponsors and they come from, like you said, all over the place to climb up, I arch up here, all the way up there. And so these guys are out here getting ready to go. The awesome thing is they have family members out here cheering them on. Some are upstairs at the top. These guys are pumped up to do some fundraising for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It's fantastic. Every 10 seconds, they're sending another firefighter up the stairs to get started. Dougie. Um, like I said, many of these guys are coming from all over. Yep. I, I know you say, um, and I know you're saying like guys yeah, ahead, as Emma. in, hey guys, what's up? But there's a lot, there's women participating in it too, oh, right? Yes, women men and women. Yes, men and women. That's incredible yeah. to many, see them. Many, here's a woman right here. She's going to do it. No, there are what men up, and girl? women. Yeah, both. It's 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 not uh, just fellas. Absolutely. Yeah, they're incredible. they're all going. And like I said, the great thing is they have the support of all these people. These folks have been out here since probably about seven this morning, waiting for this to start. And uh, it gets underway with the bagpipes comes out the core and comes you know playing, and they then start. And the first guys go. Took them about ten minutes to finish. But wow. uh, here you see. She's running it for that, for, for Graham right there. She's going for Graham. A lot of these folks have someone in, you know, that they are running it for and they're fundraising for oh, on their helmets. Doug, they wear it for like, memory of that person. It's so emotional to see that it, to see each, what each, you know, is, you know, inspiring each person to go up there. Um, you've been doing this for years, Doug, and you've actually taken the gear up yourself, our own uh, photographer gear. How hard is this to do? Imagine, especially in turnouts. It, oh my goodness in the turnout gear it is just crazy i'm amazed the, the the guy who does it in 10 minutes just blows my mind because like you said we've done this with just carrying our stuff and then our, our anchor team has done it in the past as well and just there's the next month there'll be the people raising money for the same thing but if civilians can do it so if you'd like to do it you can come get a team together or do it on your own and you can walk or run. They have two stairwells that you can use. For the firefighters, it's all one. They're all running and they're all going up this stairwell here. But for civilians, in about a month, I think it is, they'll do it again and you can raise money that way. That's right, and we have a team at King Five as well. And Doug, thank you so much for being out there. You are always bringing us the most incredible stories over the weekends, and this certainly is inspiring. Oh my goodness, Ben. Incredible to see that all those folks out there, men and